Welcome to We Tried. I'm Amy. And I'm Ethan. And today we're going to be doing a restaurant review for the Cook's House in Traverse City, Michigan. The Cook's House is a really unique restaurant in Traverse City. So Traverse City, Michigan is the quote unquote like wine country of Michigan. There's a ton of different wineries. We're actually drinking one right now from our trip. So cheers, cheers. to that. Bowers Harbor. Mm. The trees are just prime the weekend that we were up there. Autumn colors, just, it was like an artist like painted them. It was so pretty. Really cool area, Traverse City's awesome really great time to check out um and we were with our friends we were having a really great time we were hanging out with our friends some of our really good friends yep. it was awesome great vacation with them stayed and in an awesome airbnb yeah i swear to god half of traverse city is airbnbs it's so true <laughs> like per just people Bachelor that buy places parties, and rent them. bachelor parties girls weekend hold on bachelor parties like it's bachelor rent that's where my bachelor that was. is Traverse City is, listen, you a single guy, make your way up to Traverse City with your bros because there is just a mad rush of women to that town every single weekend. So All right, let's get back to the yeah. Cook's House. Traverse City is super awesome and the Cook's um, House is in downtown Traverse City. We were able to walk. The cool thing about it is it's right off the street downtown Traverse City and it's a house. It's literally just a house that has a restaurant and a converted house that has a restaurant and a kitchen. It's so small too, wouldn't you say? Like when we opened the door, we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into and we literally walked into two tables having dinner. But th yeah, that's the thing <laughs> is we walked in all awkward. Like we just walked into the middle of everybody sitting there and we just kind of looked around like, we're here. Place? Yeah, you can tell like it's, a, it's an old house, probably a pretty nice house back in the day. Living room's probably the seating area. The kitchen probably got converted into an industrial kitchen. Who knows what's upstairs? I think it yeah. was two or three stories. And there's a small bar. And there's a small bar. Yeah, I mean, yeah. a really, really cool place. It's a cool place. We did not get any footage inside because every table was taken. Like, it is some place that you gotta get on the reservation list. I think we've been on for like a few months. And oh, we were so lucky. We got the table like furthest from the door. So we never had like people like coming into our table or anything. All right, so first off, when we were greeted at the Cook's House, you could tell it was a nicer than normal restaurant. Uh, you can always tell it's a nicer than normal restaurant when they bring a special complimentary dish from the chef or something like that at first. We got two of them. <laughs> we got two of them. So first off, they brought the warm towels. I mean- It didn't like wash his face. Secondly, they brought us warm cider, oh, which yes. was Fantastic. It came like the presentation is on oh point gosh. too, right? It came That's on like beautiful. this like like seeds and like bad seeds or something. And I don't even know. It just like if you looked at it, you'd be like, That's fall right there. Yeah. It was literally the most perfect fall weekend <laughs> and it was like confirmed by their greeting. So the cider was excellent and then also too they brought out uh, brought us out a dish of warm chestnut and butter radish. I've never had chestnuts before. Me neither. And it's funny story, Ethan's like trying to pop off the outer shell and it like pops and like we don't we still didn't know where it went. Like it could have gone to the table behind it's us. It's probably still sitting in the, under one of the tables there. Let's be real. So you know us. What do what we, do we what order? do we get to drink? What is it? What do we order? We get martinis. Martinis. Is there anything is there any other drink that you gotta start with? We did ask though, we said, do you have blue cheese olives? And he was like, no, just traditional olives. Which, Dude. we are giving them a suggestion. You've already had blue cheese because our friend had the cheese plate. Just, just stuff them. Put them in the olives. Just stuff them. <laughs> you already got the blue cheese, you already got the olives. Stuff them. Just put them in there. <laughs> but that was a good martini, right? Like They were great. They were Honestly, good, they yeah. were really good martinis. They weren't like overly dirty. It was like the perfect amount of dirty and they were I, the glass was like really pretty. You ended up having two of them. Well, not only did I end up having two, but do you remember what my first one was? No. So my oh, first yes. martini was a gin martini. Mm -hmm. Mistake. I mean, it, it was good, don't get me wrong, but 
the vodka martinis are where it's at. That's where it's at. That's what I had. I had the vodka martinis. And then I ended up having the wine pairing with my dinner. So you had a little bit of wine. I had a good amount of wine. And our friends, um, they had some cool drinks as well. Sure. And tell us about your dinner. And so I started with my appetizer with the beets, the golden beets and it was so good. So I like beets to begin with, which is really cool. Came in a couple sauces. It was really, really good. Like the flavors just like meshed well all together. And it was the perfect size. My entree was the black cod and it was so good. It just, you, you just wanted to savor every single bite. So I did end up getting the five course meal because I like to try a variety of different foods. Like I am all for that. And plus then Ethan could also have, he tried a bit of each of my dishes too. So it was and a good he gave balance. me a sip of each of her wine and a That's bite of each true. of her food. We exactly. like sure. <laughs> It was a good balance. So I didn't drink it all and eat it all. We had it be sure. So my first one was squash pumpkin soup. It was really, really good. And the wine that it came with was a local wine. It's a white wine that it came with. It was really good. And Ethan enjoyed a bit of it too. So I might have had a little bit. But the most favorite dish, I would say, out of the five was the next one, it was the second course. And it was also our favorite wine. Mm -hmm. Ethan liked the wine so much and asked if he could have a glass. And normally they don't like sell that like by the glass. And he was like, for you, absolutely. Um, the dish that it came with was a pasta dish with smoked butter. I never had had smoked butter before, and I've never had anything like that. You tried the sauce. What I tried, yeah, yeah, I tried the sauce, and all I had to try was the sauce, yeah. and it was fantastic. It was so good. You killed that pasta. So it our friend, so who also got the five yeah. course meal, he he also it, killed that pasta, and he agreed favorite. that was probably the best dish yeah. on that five course meal. It was the best dish. Like you could have just got a whole bowl of that. And I, I think the waiter warned you that that was he told that us was the best that was going to be the best. That yeah. was the best, yeah. yeah. And so the next one, I ended up ordering the steak, which was really good. You tried it as well. What did you think? The steak was so good. <laughs> it was good. It was cooked really nicely. So good. Yeah. By this point, I'm starting to get pretty full, right? You have soup, pasta, and you have steak. And which it, is good for they me. Were, yeah. They were all smaller portions, like compared to Ethan, like his was the full size portion, right? And the tasting menu was smaller. So that was helpful, but yeah, I'm glad he was there to like eat food for me. <laughs> so again, I wanted to just taste the different foods. You know, he was able to help out I'll with be that. there to pick up the slack. Exactly. You can exactly. count on me. The next dish, which is what Ethan had, was the beets. Now I am not a beet fan. And I was a little nervous and I gave, I gave Ethan the forewarning. I was like, well, you're gonna have more beets because you're probably gonna eat my plate of beets. And I ended up eating it. And I think I gave him some, but I was like, not bad, it's not bad. Um, and then the finale, which was so good. It was the apple tart and it came with like homemade, like whipped topping. And then they ended, so again, we had like all these like warm welcomes, right? But they ended it with this fennel popcorn. Now I'm not the biggest like fennel fan. So it was not something I would like go out of my way to enjoy again. But again, you're trying something new. Never had fennel popcorn, have you? No. No. So, I killed it though, it was good. Ethan enjoyed it. <laughs> I was quite full at that point. So the service was just like you'd expect at a restaurant going to the cook's house. It was so, like, I would say the good service made it such a fun yeah. experience. It was fun, for so, sure. The, since the restaurant was so small, it felt like everyone was in it together. So like mm. all of the servers like were there to help you. So overall, what did you think about the, the cook's house? Overall, just like you, I would be interested in going back to the Absolutely. cook's house. Overall, would definitely go back and uh, really appreciate our time at the cook's house. So thank you so much for watching our video. Please like our video. Please comment. Have you ever been to Traverse City? What's your favorite restaurant to go to there? And thank you so much for watching. We post videos weekly. We'll see you next Sunday. Cheers. Cheers.